My goodness sakes. There is so much content that's just just blowing us away. Whether you watch the news, whether you listen to podcasts, whether you're, you're, you're taking in movies, you're listening to brand new music, there, wherever your imagination is going to be fed sight and sound, we are just taking it all in. Now, I'm going to be very transparent with you, okay? Uh, September of 2020, I was very alone, very alone. I needed to be with people because that's that's my personality. Being in radio, being in the movie promotions business, being yeah, I'm always with people. And so it's like, okay, 2020, in the middle of a pandemic, where am I going to go to be with people? Uh, I, I love my wife dearly, but I need to be with people, people, lots of people. So I went and got a job at a grocery store. And the reason why is because as an essential worker, you're with people and and you get to listen to people's stories and you and you get to grow with them as a community and 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 you get to know each other as real people and the thing is is that as we grow from this covid19 who are we and where are we going to become better than what we were before 2019 because i don't want anybody to think well you know life was really good until until what it, it's not good anymore. You, you're blessed with your eyes opening. So we take in all of this content. And I mean, we just we just take it all in. And, and, and one of the things where I was getting to with the grocery store is that I'm really, really good at showing people where different products are in a store. And I believe that the reason why that I'm very good at where these products are is because I take in the information as I walk up and down the aisles like content. It doesn't mean that I know exactly where the marshmallows are, but somewhere along the way I walked by them and my mind, because it's been strengthened by a passion for content, knows exactly where it is. My brain has held on to the image of where it is. And I think there's a lot of that going on in our everyday world right now. We're seeing so much that it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. it's not that we're becoming as smart as Google. That's not true. What I'm saying is, is that we are taking in so much content and that we need to learn how to file it and use it as the tool that it is. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess. A chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. This is the junk that I talk about. This is how I defrag. This is how I build up and try to create what it's like to be in this present place of now. Because now is the only thing that we have control over. Now. Yesterday, not so much. It's over. Don't rewrite your story. Tomorrow, ooh, somebody could get in the way and then you're going to become disgruntled and and disappointed. This is the daily mess. For some odd reason... My family and I, with about a billion other people, are glued to our flat screen TVs watching this thing called Squid Game. Are you one of them? It's on Netflix. It is the most violent, gory, edge of your seat, unpredictable thing I have seen in a very long time. Now, now I'm no expert, but I will question how this series on global television is going to play out in reality. When the worst conditions numb your fear are we connected to this extremely disturbing presentation on netflix because through it all and everything that we've seen and gone through over the past 19 months every walk of life we are physically feeling something because of squid game like i said i'm no expert here okay i'm only questioning the experience now my wife's question has been based on what are you willing to gamble in order to have another day when you spent your life playing the games winning and losing because of this addiction to chance what are you willing to bet and or place on the table to feel that edge of victory squid game no matter how slight the challenge is even harmless every single one of us gamble on something chance chance owns each and every one of us in everything that we do hey i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna do this well what happens if it doesn't pay off i don't care 
I'm going to become greater. That means I've experienced the loss, so I'm going to become smarter at the next game. Or you win something and you raise the bar. I, I, I can do better. I see it all the time when people come in to buy lottery tickets. You know, they're, they're not satisfied with winning $500. They, they want $1,000 now. But how much did you spend to get the $500 that you just did? Probably about two or 3000 chance in everything that we do you take a chance on driving down a very busy highway at 70 miles per hour when you know darn good and well that a a safer way to travel would be maybe 60 miles an hour but no i gotta get there now chance owns every one of us but do you get to know what your chance is have you shaked hands with it have you learned to listen to it what is controlling your life and is it just a game of chance just like Squid Game. You have a moment of being free. I've done it with credit cards. I'm free of credit cards. But what did I do? I did what everybody else does. You jump right back into the game. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.